What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture, and today I have four super ninja tips to share with you on how to get around with reason. I'm pretty sure to help you out with your workflow if you don't already know about them. So the first thing I want to share is actually going to be in the rack window. So up here in the rack window, I noticed a lot of people talk about how hard it is to get around the rack and, and so on, but it's really easy to get around on the rack. Right here on the right, we have this window. We can easily click wherever we would like to go in the window. I usually keep mine pretty small. Um, I do, however, like to scroll. I usually have a pad from my laptop and I can easily use my two fingers and get around. It's pretty simple, but if you don't have that like me right now, the mouse is really easy to click in this area and get anywhere in your rack that you would like to. The next thing I would like to share with you is in the sequencer and I'll bounce around a little bit, but in the sequencer, in one of the new, new updates, I think it was 10.2, you can click on the instrument in the sequencer to get to the rack. And then in turn, in the rack, there are also buttons that will take you back to the sequencer and to the mixer channel. The next thing I would like to share is the quick routing. So I noticed some people said that they don't like that when they create effects in their mix channels they have to reroute them if they want them in a certain order well you do not have to reroute them so long as you drag them from the browser so if i drag pulverizer here and let's say i want audiomatic and then i want scream right here in between if i flip to the back they are automatically routed whereas if i want to drag in something else I have to then reroute it if I want to move it. It won't automatically route. But if you drag from the browser, which in turn is usually more faster than this, especially if you have as many plugins and rack extensions as I do, then you'll be good. For this last tip, I would like to shout out Pooh Bear's Raisin Channel. I'm gonna go ahead and put it up in the card above. If you wanna know more about what I'm doing, definitely check out his channel and check out the video that I put up there. The next thing I'm gonna do is show you how to cycle presets without pressing the buttons. So you can just walk away or do whatever you wanna do uh, while it's cycling presets. If you don't have any inspiration, just program a simple melody and let it do its job. All right, so we're gonna go to instruments, reason devices, external MIDI instrument. I'm gonna actually cycle through this these Europa patches from my Galaxy of Preset Bank. So I'm gonna turn on a uh, CC assign, that's on zero, great. I'm gonna put this on IAC driver patch flip. Once again, Pooh Bear will explain all of this to you, plus more, he has tons of crazy tricks that you can use and find some sort of inspiration from. So I'm gonna right click on this down arrow, edit remote ride mapping. I'm gonna go to a, I mean IAC driver patch flip. I'm gonna click on CC00. Hit OK. Then I'm going to navigate to the sequencer. Going to create a automation clip for a CC00. Draw the clip in. Then I'm going to draw my nodes. Going to equalize the position on these. Whoops. And equalize the position on these two as well. And now when I play a melody in Europa, it will automatically cycle through the presets. I'm going to increase the tempo just for this tutorial sake. And I'll put something in here so that we can hear what's going on. All right, the last thing I will do is put this in focus and i will hold my hands up so that you cannot see me so that you can see my hands and know that i'm not changing the preset all right if you like this video give it a like comment down below subscribe and most definitely let me know what you would like to see next check out pooh bear it's all culture kick back and cook up
While I was editing this video, I remembered that Pooh Bear's channel is Windows based and just in case you're a Mac user, I don't want you to bombard him with a bunch of questions and not do your research first. So I'll just go ahead and show you how to set it up in a Mac. If you have a Windows, then Pooh Bear's got you covered for that. So you're going to, you're going to navigate to your audio MIDI, MIDI setup. You're going to go up to window. You're going to right click, I mean you don't have to right click, click it and show MIDI studio. Then in your IAC driver, that's what you want, you're going to create as many ports as you want to. I only have two at the moment. I don't use this often, only for the patch flipping and in MIDI out for some purposes. So if you wanted to create one, you'd simply click on the plus sign, name your, name your driver so you know what it's called. And then you're good to go. Just hit apply and you now have a new driver and you're good to go. It'll show up in reason. So if I go to reason now and this EMI, we got new IAC bus three. 